Hey, what's going on everybody? How you doing? I'm Matt Anderson. Today we're going to be taking a look at a great little portable product here. It's called the Kodak ZI-8. Uh, if you want to be able to get out in the community and shoot some video and you don't necessarily want to lock down your cell phone, uh, here's a great little piece here. It also has got some, a number of features that allow you to get up and online pretty quickly. So if you're looking for a portable camera, under 100 bucks, this is probably one of the ones that you want to consider in terms of its color quality, image stabilization, and some other little features here that allow it to be a great little piece to have in your pocket. So when you're out and about, you can go out and get some great video. Let's take a look at it. Uh, but looking at some of the features of it, it's really kind of cool because it's just such a small item. It's literally about the size of my iPhone, which is really, really cool. I mean, it's about the same size and width of an iPhone. So you're good to go in that sense. Um, but what's really cool about this, you know, if you're shooting video for blogs or vlogs or whatever, and uh, you want to be able to get it up on the web pretty quickly, you can do that with this uh, built-in USB port on the piece here, on the ZI-8, which is um, always kind of gives me a challenge getting it out. But once I get it out, it's kind of cool. It's built-in USB and that way you don't have to worry about trying to pull out the SDHC card and finding an adapter to be able to ingest it into your computer and get it up online. You can actually just stick this straight into your computer, bam, and you're good to go. Uh, it actually records on uh, SDHC media. If you look right here. And this one I have in here is a uh, 16 gig. And it actually records great. I mean, it holds a lot of video. It, it, it holds a lot of video. So if you're looking, you know, hey, I need a lot of space to be able to record. It can take a 32 gig card if you'd like. All right, let's go ahead and turn it on here. You look at, uh, here's a button on the side. And that's your on button. Little red light comes on. And bam, it starts to boot up. And hopefully you can see that there. And actually what you do, if you punch this uh little camera right here if you can see there's a little camera icon right there you click on that and it actually shows you these formats that uh you may want to use of course you, you can shoot in uh, like i said wvga it actually takes stills also so you can take stills uh if you're shooting in the wvga which is very you know low resolution 720p at 30 frames this is 720p at 60 frames and then of course you got uh, 1080 also at 30 frames so as you can see you know actually gives you you know less time the larger the file size or the larger the frame that you're trying to shoot in uh, you know of course it's going to give you less time um, of course if you want to play back some of the video that you already have here you just hit this little button and it takes you through and you scroll through this little jog button here it's also it doubles as your record button but it's also a little jog wheel you push it left right up down and you're good to go so if this one I, I just play back and uh, let's say this here and I just hit here see the little arrow right here and pow it gives me a whole bunch of choices right there of what I want to play and there's my all my thumbnails of all the different videos I've shot there's a little red box around the one at the top left here I'm going to select enter just push this button in and it's actually playing back the video as you can see there And going over here to the tools or the preferences on the far left here is a little wrench with a little sprocket and uh, hit that and it tells you what it can do all the different features within the Kodak ZI-8 uh, of course you can adjust your date here on the first one it tells you if it's going to be NTSC or PAL which is you know basically European or Asian countries use that particular format I'm here in the US so of course I'm leaving it on NTSC uh, this is for controlling, you know, the kind of contrast that you have on the screen. If you want the audio on, uh, it's got a built-in microphone. You can control that, which is kind of cool. You can control the input level there on that. That's one of the things that some of the smaller items or lower ticketed items that are small portable recorders like this point and shoot 
uh, don't have sometimes. So this is really kind of a cool feature. And actually, it's called the EIS. I called it the OIS, but actually it's the EIS, Electronic Image Stabilization is what it's called here. So if you want that and you want to keep it safe and, and, and sturdy and uh, not shaking a lot when you're doing a lot of handheld shooting, that's kind of cool. And then uh, let's see, if you go over here to this little bracket around the human being, that actually focuses, which is really, really cool. It gives you like a little focus uh, or bracket. It, it follows the person or follows the, you know, the item that you want to stay in focus as you're moving around from one place to another. And if I were to format my car, this would, of course, erase everything on the card right there. Don't want to do that. And this little eye here is if I were to need to update the firmware. So I'm sure Kodak at some point will be coming out with some sort of uh, firmware update so we could actually, you know, I don't know if they want to decide at some point to, to put 24P into this or that would be real kind of cool. But other than that, that's pretty much it. It's really kind of a cool thing. I'm going to show you some footage from uh, what I've been able to shoot with this Kodak ZI8. So if you're looking for something here, only thing is really kind of a challenge with this thing here is there's no, if I'm like trying to shoot myself, I can't tell if I'm in the frame because there's no flip out window so you can actually see yourself while you're recording yourself. Uh, another kind of a cool feature, and let me turn this thing off here, or items rather, I should show you the uh, the battery. So you know what you got here. It's not, not double A, and it's one of these proprietary batteries, which is, you know, I would highly recommend getting at least one other backup with it. Uh, so, you know, the thing about it is you just got to charge it up while it's in it, and you're good to go. All right, well, that is the Kodak Z-I. Eight and what didn't I show you? Didn't I show you it? Oh, there we go. And it's your macro feature right there. So if you want to shoot like bugs or something up really close or flowers, you can do that. And then uh, it looks like a mountain range right there as well. And that's for you know shooting landscape or things that are a little bit farther away. Oh, I forgot to tell you, it's also got a built-in mic jack here. So if you decide you want to plug in a an external microphone that is very 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 cool uh, it you know although the microphone that's in it is pretty decent but if you really want to control it and focus your microphone and your audio input you can do that with the microphone jack right here and uh hdmi out boom that is really 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 cool with your hdmi out right here which is essential if you really want to get high quality video coming out of the unit and of course you're charging uh, dock your port there for your recharger when you plug it into the wall. All right, the Kodak ZI8. All right, well, that wraps up our product review for the Kodak ZI8. Great little small camera here to be able to get video up and online pretty quickly. Uh, store your memories, of course, on a small SDHC card uh, so you can have them, you know, for future posterity or blogs or vlogs or whatever it is that you want to do to be able to capture images or stills, of course. It takes some decent little uh, still images also. It's not a bad for 99 bucks at B&H or Adorama. Great little camera. The Kodak ZI8.